Welcome. Thanks for joining me, astrologer Patrick Arundel, for your in-depth forecast, weekly forecast, for week commencing the 15th of July for the Sun or the Ascendant. If you've yet to subscribe to my channel, I'd be really grateful if you did so now. This week, put simply, could be one of the most potent and powerful of the whole year. In the first half of the week, we see the Sun in opposition to Pluto. In the second half of the week, it's Venus which is moving into opposition to Pluto. And of course, on Tuesday, we have the partial lunar eclipse in the sign of Capricorn. So that's also in a conjunction with tiny Pluto. Now, overriding this, we also have Mars, the planet of passion, in a right angle with Uranus in the sign of Taurus. So a tremendous amount of activity and overlaying all of this is the fact that Mercury continues its backward journey and by Friday reverses into the sign of Cancer. So let's go from the very start of this week. The sun is all about our passion, it's about our drive, it's about our need to express ourselves. In the sign of cancer, it's asking us to be more mindful of nurturing, of being much more aware of our environment, issues of security, family, and how we interact with other people close to us. Pluto and, of course, the lunar eclipse, however, are in the rather more material sign of Capricorn. This is very much about our role in life, the physical part of security, where we live, and also how we view things like work and status. Now, it's possible that whether a relationship is linked to your personal life, or it's linked to your family, or it's linked to your professional situation, that some kind of challenge can occur this week. The challenge may be entirely internal. It may be something needs to alter, needs to change, and if we resist it, it can cause some problems because Pluto is about change. But equally, someone may be trying to force a change upon us that we don't really want, that we don't feel is fair. Uh, for example, it could be an employer who wants to change our terms and conditions in a way which is not very pleasant and that may be something which naturally we'd want to question especially if it leads to working less social hours or not earning as much. So someone could try to play a more forceful role this week and in any kind of relationship there can be the potential to gain or lose or some kind of readjustment is needed. The readjustment can be entirely inside of ourselves or it can be in our physical situation that some kind of alteration might, may be needed. Now, the lunar eclipse is going to provide a backdrop of energy for the last six months of this year. And because the solar eclipse of the 2nd of July was very much about nurture, it's how that nurture fits into the more physical parts of our existence. So, for example, if we do want to change where we live, we do want to go for a new job, we want to uh, apply a different set of values, reinforce our boundaries in personal relationships. It's going to create shifts, changes, alterations. And these Teutonic plates, because Pluto is very much about depth, it can be about secrets, it can be about lust, it can be about money. These Teutonic plates are moving in a way which is not necessarily very comfortable. Watch out for someone who doesn't use their power wisely or fairly, but equally be aware of your own uh, tendency to dominate if you have any. Also in the second half of this week, because Venus is in opposition with Pluto, our desires are going to be ramped up. Now that could be about where we live in, in this particular axis of energies, Cancer, Capricorn, but it could also be that we meet someone who has a compelling impact on us in a personal or romantic context. It could also have a very strong sexual magnetism. This relationship, if we meet someone this week, can have a massive impact upon us. But also, 
it is possible that we could encounter someone who's not necessarily going to be very good for us, however captivating we find them to be. With Mars also in that right angle to Uranus, there can be some compulsive energies around spending money or just uh, doing as we wish when it comes to desires. But with Mercury in that retrograde, the potential for misunderstandings and miscued discussions is very strong. So by the end of the week, as Mercury moves back into the sign of Cancer, where frankly it's not at its happiest, we need to make sure that we continue to articulate how we feel in as clear a way as possible. It can become much more subjective, our thinking and also our communication on the back of this particular retrograde from the end of this week onwards. Please stay on for your specific forecast for your zodiac sign. Hello Taurus, here is your specific forecast for this week. The lunar eclipse of Tuesday is really about passion and passion about your ideas and the things you really believe in. Now this could be about travel, it could be about education, it could be that you find yourself having a conversation this week with someone in the pub or a bar where you feel that you really want to articulate exactly how you feel. Now if you're someone who's usually quite reserved and likes to maintain the status quo, it could surprise people that you are much more out there with your view. But also Mars and Uranus, Uranus now in your sign, are in a tense right angle. And this can make you potentially in the mood to stir up a little bit of a hornet's nest. You can almost get a bit of a thrill from it. Perhaps somebody close to you does need telling a few home truths and you may decide to be the one who delivers them. But equally, you could have a conversation this week which is absolutely dripping with sensuality and connection and a magnetic draw to someone you encounter. Or it could be that you're really gri gripped by a great film, or perhaps reading a book that really engages you. But one thing's for sure about this week, it is not going to be dull. But whether it's talking to a family member, a, uh, a sibling, or someone you encounter on an everyday basis, there is the potential for some cross wires because of Mercury's retrograde. But I think essentially you are going to stand up for something that means a lot to you. And that's going to be quite a thrilling event. But in some ways it could feel a bit scary because having that sense of predictability or at least security in your world is so important to you. It's been a real pleasure being with you. Uh, and again, as I said before, I'd be very grateful if you could subscribe to my channel if you've yet to do so uh, before. Thank you.